Let's do it. Come on. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy! Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. <clears throat> Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everybody. Have fun, and good luck to all of you. Thank you, Alex, and hello, folks. This is game number 70 of my run of Jeopardy 2003 for the PC. My total is $3,254,000. 20th century novels. Presidential anagrams. Incredible edibles. TV and film. And to wrap things up, lakes and rivers. We'll see how this goes. Player one, you start us off. A uh, PU 200. It's the time of life when a young man's fancy turns to thoughts of girls. Player one. What is puberty? Exactly. <clears throat> PU 400. Oscar de la Hoya. Or Evander Holyfield. Player one. What is a pugilist? Hey, you're correct. PU6. It's another name for the cougar or mountain lion. Player one. What is a puma? Exactly. PU800. It means downright rotten. Player one. What is putrid? Yes. PU-1000. The third of these wars wiped Carthage off the map, though it was later rebuilt. Player one. What are the Punic Wars? Precisely. Pick again. 20th century novels, 200. In its last chapter, the hero tells his father, love means not ever having to say you're sorry. Oh my gosh, I remember that. Anybody? Can't remember the novel. Take a look. Love Here's story. The right response. Let's try it again. 20th century novels for 400. Ralph survives on the island, but Piggy is less lucky in this William Golding classic. Player one. What is Lord of the Flies? Exactly. Pick the right one. 20th century novels 600. Albert Camus' French work. L'étranger has been translated as the outsider, but more commonly as this. Player one. What is the plague? No, no. sorry. That was the only one I knew from him. Take a look. The Here's stranger. The response. 20th century novels, 800. Norman Mailer was just 25 when this naked 1948 bestseller, his first novel, was published. Player one. What is the naked and the dead? Precisely. Pick again. 20th century novels, 1,000. Saul Bellow's title characters include Herzog, Humboldt, and this man, the Rain King. Player two. Who is Eugene Henderson? Yes. Hmm. Oh, lakes and rivers for 200. This South American river has the world's largest drainage basin. Player one. What is the Nile? Good guess. No. But it's not what we're looking for. Player two. What is the Amazon River? Oh, of course. Exactly. Lakes and rivers for 400. The R, originating in the Bern Canton, is a major river of this mountainous country. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is Switzerland? Definitely. Uh, Lakes and River 6. Rising in the Black Forest, it's the second longest river in Europe after the Volga. Player 2, what is the Danube River? Oh. Precisely. Pick again. Lakes and Rivers, 
for 800. You can take a high road or a low road to Loch Lomond, the largest lake in this <coughs> United Kingdom country. Player one. What is Scotland? Correct. You certainly know your geography. Some of it. Lake service a thousand. This woodsy lake in Manitoba, Ontario and Minnesota is a remnant of an extinct glacial lake. Is that it? Anyone? Player two? What is Redwood Lake? Oh, we're great. Not Redwood no. Lake. I don't think that place even exists. Anybody? Here's what we were looking the for. The Lake of the Woods. Uh, presidential anagrams, 200. Henry Jolt. Player one. Who is John Tyler? Yes. Anagrams, 400. Sir Lowdown Wu. Player one. Who is Woodrow Wilson? I think this was during the uh, teen reunion tournament in 1998. <laughs> I remember looking back on the Clue History site and just kind of playing the episode in my mind. Anagram 6. Acid Logic Novel. Oh, oh, oh I got it. Okay. Uh, who is Calvin Coolidge? Yes. Anagrams 800. A Carbon Hillman. Player 1. Who is Abraham Lincoln? Precisely. Pick again. Anagrams a thousand. Swank Gene Cord. Player two. Oh. Who is Andrew Jackson? Yep. Definitely. So the Daily Double was not here. How about TV and film for 200? It's the hip 1996 film that popularized lines like, Your money, baby. Player two. What is Swingers? Precisely. Swinners. Never heard of that. TV and film for 400. The man seen here directed this 1941 cinematic masterpiece. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. <sighs> Player three. What is Citizen Kane? Hmm. Well, that was Orson Welles. Yes. I'd like incredible edibles for 200. The green and the mute types of this amphibian are the ones the French prize for their legs. Player one. What are frogs? Precisely. Pick again. Incredible edibles for 400. Charlemagne was so fond of these proud birds that he served them at a banquet. Player one. What are peacocks? Hey, you're correct. Incredible edible 600. If this U.S. marsupial is really dead and not just playing, you can roast it like pork. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is a possum? Precisely. Pick again. Incredible edibles 800. Eating seaweed helps certain swifts form these structures found in a famous Chinese soup. Player one. What are noodles? No, no. sorry. Player three. What are nests? Oh. Now you're cooking. Yes, that's the dish. I'll take TV and film for 600. In 1998, this MASH star made a smashing return to Broadway in the hit play, Art. Player one. Who is Alan Alda? Exactly. All right. That was a guess. Incredible Edibles, a thousand. The eggs of this shelled reptile are sometimes hard-boiled, and the flippers may be braised in wine sauce. Player one. What is a turtle? Hey, you're correct. TV and film 800. Answer? Oh, the Daily Double. I'm kind of iffy on this topic. Did you make your way to place? 
Like I said, I'm kind of iffy on this topic, so I'm just going to go for 600. This TV radio station featured Dr. Johnny Fever, Venus Flytrap, and Les Nessman on the air. Player one. What is WKRP? Exactly. Well, I could have got more if I wanted to. Now, and the last one? Usman Kassama and Tamberlaine the Great was played on Broadway in 1956 by this future starship captain. Player three. Who is William Shatner? Hmm. Exactly. Still a strong showing for me, $9,200. Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy round. And I have the lead well, for sure. A look at the scores. Big lead, player one, well done. You're still in the 2200 for player three. Two, you're in last place. 2000 for player two. First in double Jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for double Jeopardy. Here are the categories for the double Jeopardy round. Rock and Roll Jeopardy. Hmm. That's rank. Creation Stories. 18th Century America. Animal Anagrams. Hmm. And to wrap things up. <coughs> dwellings. We had presidential anagrams in the first one. First one. Give me that rank for 400. Highest rank achieved by the general seen here. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is major? That nope. is incorrect. Is that it? Anyone? What we were looking for. Five star is this. general. Oh, of course, the exact general in quotation marks. Let's try Rock and Roll Jeopardy for 400. You can buy this former 10,000 Maniac Singers album Ophelia in any little hamlet. Player three. Who is Natalie Merchant? Precisely. Hmm. Pick again. Rock and Roll Jeopardy for 800. He was Ziggy Stardust. Player one. Who is David Bowie? Hey, you're correct. Animal Anagrams, 400. When you hear a low hoot, look for this bird. Player one. What is an owl? Precisely. Pick again. Animal Anagrams for 800. Charo may know this fish shares <clears throat> its name with a kitchen insect pest. Player one. What is a roach? Definitely. Animal anagrams 1200. We hope this antelope would shy away from a gun. Player one. What is a new? Exactly. Animal anagrams 1600. If I bolster my courage, I can eat a five pound one of these. Player one. What is a lobster? That's the critter we're looking for. Animal Anagrams 2000. We suspect this creature wouldn't eat carob. It prefers frogs and mice. Player one. What is a cobra? Exactly. Creation stories 400. Scholars link Egyptian creation myths to the sun fertilizing this Egyptian river's slime. Player two. What is the Nile? Oh, now is yes. the time for the Nile. I tried that in the first round. Creation stories for 800. According to the King James Version, God's first words quoted in the book of Genesis are, Let there be this. Player one. What is light? Exactly. Creation stories 1200. Answer The Daily Double. And it's a video Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? 3,600. In some Native American myths, this small canine seen here helps a god create the world. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is a coyote? Definitely. All right, 20 grand. 
Creation Story 1600. Africa Skulani people, who are cattle herders, say everything came from a drop of this cow product. Player one. What is milk? Precisely. Pick again. Creation Stories 2000. To the ancient Greeks, it was a void from which Nix and Erebus emerged. In English, it's a disordered mess. Is that it? Anyone? Player three. What is bedlam? Oh, that's not incorrect. bedlam. Player two. What is chaos? Oh, definitely. Give me dwellings for 400. It's the often fancy apartment occupying a building's top floor. Oh, player three. What is penthouse? Mmm, penthouse. Precisely. Pick again. Dwellings for 800. From Swiss French for shelter, it's a wooden cottage or lodge with overhanging eaves. Player oh. two. What is a chalet? And I just thought of that. Yes. I'll try 18th century America for 400. He published his Poor Richard's Almanac at the new printing office near the market in Philadelphia. Player one. Who is Ben Franklin? Precisely. Okay. Whew. Pick again. Uh, dwellings 1200. Manhattan is known for these handsome sandstone buildings named for their dark hue. Player one. What are brownstones? Definitely. I think I've watched Law and Order SVU enough to kind of know. Dwelling 16. Though born to wealth, William Henry Harrison used this humble dwelling seen here as a campaign symbol. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is a log cabin? Precisely. Pick again. Dwellings 2000. In Malaysia, several families may live in this type of house, also built by the Iroquois. Player one. What is a long house? Hey, you're correct. 18th century America for 800. As a result of this December 16, 1773 incident, England closed the port of Boston. Player one. What is the Boston Tea Party? Precisely. Pick again. 18th century America, 1200. In 1789, this future president was elected to Congress from Virginia, defeating James Monroe. Player two? Oh. Who was Thomas Jefferson? Oh. Good guess. Nope, not Thomas that Jefferson. Not what we're looking for. Player three. Oh. Who was James Madison? That's who oh, we of were course, looking for. yeah. Give me Rock and Roll Jeopardy for 1,200. He wrote Running on Empty and co-wrote Take It Easy. Anyone? What we were looking for was... Jackson there. Brown. I'd like That's Rank for 800. It's the highest male title in the British peerage and John Wayne's nickname. Player three. Oh. What is Duke? Oh, and I just thought of that. Definitely. That's rank for 1,200. Cherubim and seraphim are ranks of these. Player two. What are angels? Oh. Exactly. That's rank for 1,600. Madeleine Albright was the highest ranking member of this president's cabinet. Player two? Who is Bill Clinton? Oh. Hey, you're correct. That's rank for 2,000. A wee below is the highest rank one of these scouts can achieve before he becomes a boy scout. Player one. What is a tenderfoot? Ooh. Nope. Sorry. Is that it? Anyone? Here's what we were looking for. Cub scout. Give me Rock and Roll Jeopardy for 1,600. This singer sang Rocket Man. Player one. Who is Elton John? 
Hey, you're correct. 18th Century America for 2000. Answer? Oh! The Daily Double. <clears throat> I think I want to hold back. 11,800. On February 5th, 1736, this Methodist founder arrived in Georgia at James Oglethorpe's invitation. Player one. Who is John Wesley? Exactly. Did it. 39,000. 1600, 18th century America. In 1776, this future Secretary of the Treasury served as a captain of a New York artillery company. Player one. Who is Alexander Hamilton? Yes. The last and one. To wrap up this board. This Red Hot Chili Peppers bassist with an insect name plays on Mick Jagger's wandering spirit. Player one. What is, who is Flea? Yes. Got it. 42,600. That's the end of the Double Jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores once again. Player one, you've got the lead going into Final Jeopardy. Player two, 6,800 for two player two, 3,000 for player three. three. It's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll read the category, then give you a few seconds to consider your wager. It is? Mind, Mind your, your business. business. Go ahead. Make your wager. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. <coughs> 3,400 only. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. Thank you. Liquid Organic Cleaner was the first product sold by this firm that developed from the American Way Association. What is Amway? Trying to be a little less depends on the clue your site, but that doesn't mean I'm going to chuck it entirely. Besides, this is my channel, I can do what I want. <clears throat> Let's see how everyone did. Player three. Amway Incorporated. No question. That's it. Yes. Right. Well done. And your wager was. 3,000, double G to Player six. Two, your question. Player two said nothing. That's not right, I'm sorry. And your wager? 6,800. I your said Amway. That's right. And your wager was? 3,400 for $46,000. Congratulations to our winner. Player one. So, the math is easy, $3.3 million. Hope you all had fun. See you again on Jeopardy. Bye, Alex. Hi, folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. Let's take a look at your stats. 70 wins, So 46,000 today. I could have gone more if I wanted to, but I wanted to hold back even though I did have all the leeway available. But still, I thought I did really well kind of knowing a lot of these and only using the Clue History site on a couple of categories. So I like to think I was less dependent on it once again. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, remember, subscribe, and I'll see you all for that next game for number 71 and two more wins and I will match Jeremy McGrath's record of Supercross wins at 72. So with that being said again thanks you guys subscribe 
and we'll see you all for game 71.